Hey folks, David here with my thoughts on the recent announcement that Anthony Michael Hall will be playing the role of Tommy Doyle in the upcoming Halloween Kills movie set for 2020. Um, I follow several channels on YouTube that have voiced their opinions and there seems to be kind of a mixed bag. Um, there are several that feel like Brian Andrews, the original Tommy Doyle in the uh, 1978 Halloween should have been able to reprise his role. Um, there's been other rumors of Charles Cipher reprising his role as Sheriff Brackett in the next movie. So to have the original Laurie Strode, the original Sheriff Brackett, and the original Tommy Doyle all in the same movie um, would have been great for nostalgia reasons. But the thing is, Brian Andrews hasn't done any acting in, in quite a long time. So, depending on how big of a role Tommy Toll is going to play in the next movie or movies, um, if it was a cameo appearance, then yes, it would have been good to see um, Brian Andrews. If Tommy Doyle is going to have a bigger part in the movie, then I feel like casting Anthony Michael Hall wasn't a bad decision. <clears throat> um, there are several others that would have liked to have seen Paul Rudd reprise his role as Tommy Doyle. Uh, for those of you that are fans of the franchise will recall that Paul Rudd played Tommy Doyle in Halloween 6. Uh, but Paul Rudd is currently working on Ghostbusters 3 and was unable to commit to the role. So, Anthony Michael Hall. Um, I'm indifferent. I'm, I'm not excited about the news. I'm not let down about the news. I'm just kind of just going with it. Um, Anthony Michael Hall is, you know, it, it, you'll recall he you know, was in Weird Science. He was in The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles. Um, but he hasn't really been in any big roles that I can recall since the late 80s or early 90s. Um, he has been acting consistently since the 80s, so I feel like he's quite capable of playing Tommy Doyle. And he does resemble an older Tommy Doyle. Um, Dave McRae, a channel that I follow um, on YouTube, he said that he had heard that, um, heard or read or maybe from another YouTube channel, that Seth Green uh, was a, a contender for the role as well. Um, I would have liked to have seen Seth Green over Anthony Michael Hall, but that's just my, my opinion. But um, yeah, so really it all boils down to how big a role is Tommy Doyle going to play in Halloween Kills? If he's just a cameo, sucks that Brian Andrews couldn't reprise his role. If it's a bigger part, then uh, Anthony Michael Hall is quite capable of uh, playing that part, I, I feel. Um, it makes me wonder, you know, with all these characters coming back, um, are they going to bring back Lindsay? Uh, if you'll recall, Lindsay was the uh, little girl that uh, Lori ended up babysitting along with Tommy Doyle. I mean, she wasn't killed in the movie, so, I mean, will she have a cameo in the upcoming movie? Right now, let's just kind of wait and see. So, uh, that's my opinion. I'm not excited. I'm not let down. I'm just kind of going with the news. So, if you're new to my channel, I do invite you to please subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments. Um, if you're a fan of the Halloween franchise, what are your thoughts about the news? Are you excited about it? Are you kind of like me, just it is what it is? Or do you feel strongly that Brian Andrews should have been able to come back and play Tommy Doyle? Well, that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, take care and thanks.